Hello, my name is Liliana Kibi. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing permanent set on my hair. So if you want to see my results and how I'm going to be doing, going about it, then keep on watching. Before we begin the video, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. So without any more talking, let's get into it. My hair is freshly washed. Um, I've, I'm very excited about this video because I've not done, I've been natural for so long, for like five years now, and I've not done, I've never done a um, permanent set on my hair. I've had permanent on this video today are this kind of rods. I've had this for a very, very long time. Like I think I've had this since 2016. But I've never used it, so today is the day that we're going to be putting it to test. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some shea butter on my hair. Then I'm just going to go ahead and bring out a medium sized section. I just trimmed my hair, so you can see my hair is like blonde at the ends. That's because I just trimmed. I trimmed a few days ago. So my ends are actually looking really good right now. People always ask me if I ever use a comb. Well, the answer to that question is yes. I use a comb, but I use a comb occasionally. Like this year, I think I've used a comb only two times. The first time was earlier in the year. I can't remember what happened. I think I, I was just curious to know. Like just, I just felt like combing my hair. So I combed my hair then. And then the last time I used a comb was some days ago. Like the day I trimmed my hair. That was the last time last time I used a comb because I actually wanted to really go in and make sure that my hair was really like even when I trim so that was why I comb my hair before trim I don't do that all the time sometimes I trim without combing my hair sometimes I, I um, comb my hair to trim for this video I'm going to be using a comb <laughs> for the first time this is the first time I'm actually going to be using a, using a comb on camera since I can't remember for like for a very long time now um, so I just want to show you guys what I do when I comb my hair. I watch videos, primary set videos, and um, one of the tips to get in the rod set to come out like really, really good is to make sure that your hair is fully, fully, fully detangled. So I'm going to detangle my hair with white comb today. So before I go in my comb, I'm going to first finger the tangle, take some shea butter, apply on that section. And then I walk my way up to the rest of the hair. Then I finger the tangle with the shea butter in my hair just to make sure like I'm not going straight into my hair with a comb because I don't like I always make sure I finger the tangle before I go in with a comb. So after we finger the tangle, I'm going to go in with my um white top comb. I'll gently start on the ends just comb gently from the ends and then gradually work my way up to the rest of the hair. You can see how gentle I am. I'm always very gentle whenever I handle my hair and that is why I can get away with manipulating my hair so often. I know I've said that so many times but I always like to say that because I'm sure so many people wonder like that I have uh what's the name? What what do they tell me? That I have uh hair that you stand all the tension. I have 
very strong hair. Well, I have hair is actually strong because I try to keep it healthy and everything, but and that reason why I can get away with manipulating my hair so often because I'm always very, very, very gentle. This is one another reason why I don't like combing my hair because my hair has actually gotten really thick, so it takes too long <laughs> to comb. If I was finger detangling, I'll be done by now. So tiring. I'm not sure I really want to do this on my whole head. I'm starting to think twice about this. I don't know if I really want to do this on my whole head. I don't want the video to be too long, so I'm going to complete the combing of this section and now come back to you guys. I'm done combing that section. I'm trying to find the hair that I lost, but I, I can barely find anything. So I didn't lose much hair. My comb is still like pretty clean. So this is how much hair I lost. <laughs> it's very very little. Um, because I'm very very gentle when I do my hair like I hardly lose so much hair my hair is fully detangled I can't run my fingers too because that's just the nature of my hair it's very difficult to run my fingers too but it's pretty detangled because it's very easy to separate that's how I know that my hair is fully detangled and it's easy to separate so I've done the first one and I think I understand what I'm going to be doing now. So let me just show you guys what I shall do. I'm going to take out like a medium sized section. So about this big. So put the rest away. Take that section of hair and then I go ahead and spritz it with some water all over again. And then I just go ahead and gently finger the tangle. Then I apply some shea butter, focusing on ends, and then I gently work my way up to the rest of the hair. Then I apply some more shea butter. I'm only applying, I'm spraying more water now because I'm using shea butter. So I find that when I apply the shea butter, then wet it again, it just helps to make my hair more juicy. So that's what I'm doing. This is optional. You don't have to use it. You're not using shea butter. You're using like a, you know, a styling cream or like something else. And I take the uh, perm rod, pull my hair. Just to get the ends ready. Then I just wrap from I start from the beginning of the road and then I just wrap my hair around it. I try not to make it overlap. So when I'm done wrapping the ends, make sure the ends are like flat. Then I start wrapping the hair to cover the ends. I eventually start start to overlap the hair because like the rod is too short for my hair to go without overlapping all through so I start to overlap when I get to the end then I clip it 
So I have, you can see, the root of my hair is pretty loose. So it's just the ends that are curled. <laughs> I have a feeling that, anyway, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we just have to wait to find out. So I'm going to repeat the same thing all over my hair and then I'll come back to you guys to finish. So. So I'm almost out of um, um, perm rods. I keep saying flex rods. I'm almost out of perm rods, so I'm I have like so much hair left. So I'm cutting bigger sections. I only have small sections at the back. All the ones here in front, like these are big. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know who told me that 24 perm rods would be enough of my whole hair. But anyway, now that we are here. I wrap normally how I've been wrapping and try to wrap and as I go I kind of twist the rods so that I can wrap more hair even with that I still have like I can't wrap anymore even though I'm not yet done like I still have a lot of hair so my roots is going to be poofy like very 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 poofy then I clip so this is I'm just going to do the I'm almost done I have just this much hair left <sighs> next time I'm not going to use a comb because combing my hair takes so long I'm so tired I don't even know how long I've spent this thing on my hair like I, I, I don't even want to check the time because I'm just going to feel really bad so this is how much I lost. I'm already done combing this part, so I'm definitely not going to use any hair there anymore, any longer. I just want to finish this part of the video because it's already getting dark and I want to finish filming before it gets dark. So I'm not going to show you guys the finished look with this until when it's dry. So this is how much hair I lost. It's more than what I usually use when I finger the tangle. But it's not like so much, it's not alarming or anything like that. So I'm going to finish this, leave it to dry. I think I'm going to leave for about two days to dry, then I'll come back to show you guys the results. So it's the next day, and I believe my hair is fully dry. So I'm going to start unraveling the um start removing the rods. So I'm done picking my hair and I actually like the results. It's actually bouncy, although it's very frizzy, but I kind of like like the uh, volume and the shape that my hair has. So let me give you guys back here. Yeah.
So my hair is actually very soft and flexible. Guys, it comes to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.